What's going on? It's Young Larry, aka L God, and today we are reviewing Rick Ross's Black Dollar mixtape. Rick Ross, if you were unaware, for whatever reason, I don't know, shame on you. Uh, Miami rapper came out quite some time ago, I think under Def Jam or something involving Jay Z uh, around that time. Um, had a pretty, you know. A good start, but a rough start with the, between the beef with uh, 50 Cent and getting exposed to be a CEO and getting his whole sort of persona from uh, Freeway Ricky Ross. Um, I don't want to get too deep into that, but just know that he has since flourished pretty well. You think the whole authenticity and genuineness of hip-hop would shut him down? No, I think he's still eating. Still eating really good. Um, which brings us to Black Dollar. Sort of a, not so much a surprise, but a sort of you know, more recent project from Rick Ross that does not feature the production he is known for using. Um, every now and then he tends to have a more soulful track on his albums. This mixtape is not so much soulful, but a lot. What's the word? I'd say the production's a lot more calm. It's not a whole bunch of, you know, really hard, hard beats, but they're there but it's not, it's a whole, I'll, we'll go with soulful. There's a lot more soulful feel to it. Um, namely, in tracks like We Gonna Make It, which brings excerpts from the news during the Baltimore Uprising, riots if you're that kind of a fucking fuckboy, I don't, we don't say that around here. Um, but that was really dope. And to hear Rick Ross on some uplifting shit was new for me personally, so I was definitely appreciative. Um, it goes back to the coke rap and the, you know, the women and the, doing impressive things with your money, which gets old really quickly because this mixtape is 17 tracks long. Again, album length, mixtape length, project length, stop it at 12, 13 maybe. Do not go past 15. When you go past 15, you've officially gone too far, you were in Albuquerque, you're fucking up bugs, okay? Stop it. Stop it. Beyond that though. Long project, by track 10, the coke raps and things like that that Rick Ross does, they get real played real fast. I was I was tuning out by track 11 and it just wasn't, it wasn't my thing. Uh, I think the last track I was actively in, actively listening to was the one where he pulled a straight sample from uh, Brooklyn's Finest, classic Dre Z record, off uh, Reasonable Doubt. The track is called World's Finest on the project. It features Meek Mill, who pops up, of course, a couple times on here. Meek sounds pretty good. He's recovered really well, you know, he's out the hospital, he's walking, got his, his crutches and his stretcher working and everything. He's doing pretty good, he's eating and everything. His health is in good tech for right now, it's all right. But um, beyond that though, Rick Ross, man, he's an interesting cat. Um, all this time, I've just been, I've just making, making the same music and it's not quite on the level of a young Jeezy. Um, even though I don't understand the cat, not quite the uh, the cult following of a Gucci Mane, uh, but people really like yo. And I keep hearing Teflon Don. This is Magnum Opus. I haven't listened to that album in years. I have to go back and see if I missed something in my young, crazy, I don't know, inexperienced hip hop head years. But to me, Homie's never been that impressive. And it doesn't really dramatically change on this project. Maybe a tad bit more respect. Um, there are some things he does a wordplay here and there on the album. Um, none that are immediately in my head because I'm sorry, unfortunately, I just don't have it. Not for him. It's just not. It's not nothing that's going to be like, ooh, make the face at it, right? No. Um, but he's got some moments where it's just like, oh, okay, I see you. Um, but outside of that, Rick Ross, uh, Black Dollar, it's a mixtape. So, dog, go cop that for free if you want. If you don't like Rick Ross, don't waste space on your hard drive. If you like Rick Ross, do yourself a favor, pick it up. If you're unsure on Rick Ross, maybe go listen to Teflon Dawn first. If you don't like Teflon Dawn, then maybe not fuck with anything else from that point onward. Ah, beyond that, Sean Larry, Unnamed Music Show, Al Morgan, Rick Ross, Black Dollar. Y'all have a good day.